In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resize an image for the web using Adobe Photoshop. So I have a photo of a peacock. I want this peacock image to be on a website. The image is currently much too large. You can see the ruler is open here. It's currently 4,000 pixels wide. File size is way too big. I'm going to crop this image and make it a little smaller. We're gonna save it for web at a much smaller file size. So I'm going to use the crop tool on the left in the toolbar. And in this first drop down, I'm going to choose width, height, resolution. And here is where you just need to type in the image size that you want to crop your image at. I need an image that's 400 pixels wide, so 400 px, and then the height I need is 600 pixels, so 600 px, and then the resolution is 72 because it's going on a website and web resolution is 72. You can see the crop marks here on top of the image that are overlaid. You can adjust your crop on this if you need to. I'm just gonna zoom in just a little bit on the peacock and have him be centered. And when you're ready to crop the image, you can hit enter or hit the check mark at the top. So you can check your image size by going to image, image size, and I can see my dimensions up here say 400 by 600 pixels. That crop worked, click okay. So the next step is we need to export this image for the web. So go to file, export, Save for Web Legacy. And you'll get this Save for Web box. And there's a couple things I want to point out here. On the right, you can choose your file format. I typically use JPEGs for websites, but you can also use PNGs. You can adjust the image quality here. So this is currently high quality and the quality is set to 65%. Why this is important, this changes your file size. So on the bottom left, you can see the file size is 133 kilobytes. But if I did a medium resolution image, which changed our quality, you can see my file size changed a lot. It's now 61 kilobytes. So I'm gonna set this back to high. These file sizes are very reasonable for the web. Typically you want to be below 500 megabytes for the web. Once you've set your file type, your quality, and checked your image size, then just click save. I like to save my images with what they're going to be used for. The end I'm gonna type in web, and then click save. So that's how you crop and resize an image for the web using Adobe Photoshop. Follow Cry Studio for more Photoshop and graphic design tutorials. Thanks so much.